And I want to start with a quarterback who might be nervous, and that's Mitch Trubisky. Mm. I, I've had this game painted, Bart, tonight as Mitch's last stand. Yeah. Could you see a quarterback change in Pittsburgh made this quickly if he has a bad night tonight? Absolutely could, Greeny. I mean, when you think about this division is open. It's up for grabs. Right? You talk about every team in the division lost last week. You talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers. They have a Super Bowl caliber defense. T.J. Watt is eventually going to come back. But even without T.J. Watt, you talk about Mika, Mika Fitzpatrick and his ability to be one of the best you know, um, safeties in the game. If you have a winnable game, you are not – serving your team well if you don't put the best player out there. And maybe sometimes it's just a spark. Maybe it's just fake confidence in Kenny Pickett. But Kenny Pickett is your future. We thought that – listen, has anybody stock risen more than Mitchell Trubisky for not playing for an entire season? <laughs> like, you know, we forgot. People in Chicago was like, yep, that's the Mitch we know, right? The inability to, to kind of read defenses and push the ball down the field. We know that Claypool, Johnson, fair move. These are plus – receivers in his league and he's not taking advantage of the resources that he has and, and you know what Nico I was asking you about it earlier because Nico is from Chicago and so you're intimately aware of the struggles he had there and now mm -hmm. you watch their game against your Patriots this past week and the first thing you said to me was inaccuracy he's just not accurate enough yeah he, he isn't accurate enough but it's also throwing the ball down the field right. they have a good receiving core but you it almost seems like the Steelers right now they're trying to play into their defense ball control, run the football, don't risk too much by throwing a pass down the field, I guess, and risking throwing interceptions. And Trubisky tried to force the ball in there. He threw an interception against the Patriot, trying to force, force something that wasn't there. And what you really want is a quarterback that's going to evaluate what the defense is in and put the ball where it needs to be. He struggled with accuracy when he was with the Bears. He struggled with accuracy so far this season, and I just don't see – what the long-term goal is here, okay, if Trubisky loses this matchup tonight, if, he, if they lose again, you're starting to get into a, period, a point now where it's, all right, what's our season look like? And if you have a young quarterback that is supposed to be the future, who's confident, 24 years old, he's a 24-year-old yeah. rookie, he's been around for a while, so you go with what the future is. We know Rudolph isn't the future there. If Trubisky's not getting it done, you move on to the young player, the rookie, who maybe he's got a chip on his shoulder. Maybe he's going to say, I'm just going to risk it. I'm going to throw the ball up. I have he has nothing I've to lose. Some, there's nothing to lose here. So even Is if it, the rookie came in yeah. and threw a few interceptions but's pushing the ball down the field, I think your fan base would say, well, at least we're, we're maybe the fans the right say, direction. I get it. But may, Mike Tomlin might be looking at this and saying the strength of my team is my defense. Uh, my, my concern, Bart, I thought the point you made was the biggest concern you have is if Deontay Johnson and Chase Claypool start getting check out. frustrated. Check yeah. out. And receivers get frustrated, especially when they're open and the ball's not coming their way. You yeah. see you see it every year. A receiver's open. I'm open. Well, they think they're open every and, play. And they, and they much rather talk and communicate and get chemistry with the guy that's going to be the quarterback for the future. See, Mitchell Trubisky knows that he's in a catch-22 because he's playing for his NFL future. Right, so now maybe the pressure's too big for him. He doesn't want to turn the ball over, so he's making sure that he's conservative. Like it's 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 a it's a fine line between con being conservative and being reckless. And, and I he would, needs to find it. And another and an observation from the Patriots matchup: that pass rush was nothing compared to Week One without T.J. Watt. So they lose Watt, and their pass rush suffered dramatically. Right. So that formula, that formula, that formula for hoping your exactly. defense gets a turnover yes. or gets a forced fumble or gets get, gets your offense on the short field, that's that's over with. Now you got to try and put points and generate points if you're Mitchell Trubisky, and you have to be willing to push the ball up the field. And the problem is he's comfortable throwing the ball in between the hashes. Where his playmakers on the outside, right? So you trying to throw the ball, and he throwing it through the double cover, double coverage last week, mm -hmm. and got 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 the interception. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.